Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Hey loves and welcome back to Shanti Speaks. So thank you guys for joining me today first and foremost and excuse the hat. But it is wash day and it is deep conditioning underneath here. Sorry I'm looking over there but like I'm trying to see myself in the camera. But um, it is deep conditioning under here and I will be washing this out here once I finish talking to you guys and uh, get ready for my protective style that I do on my hair. But needless to say, this is not why you came to the video. Um, I'm going to show you guys um, a quick breakfast, lunch, and dinner idea that you can do to help with this vegan journey if you're going to be on a vegan journey. Some of it to you guys may not seem super healthy um, because of some of the processed foods. But for us, it's something that's quick that helps you transition into the vegan journey and help those who are still uh, straddling the fence with the meats and cheeses and stuff like that, but without incorporating any animal products at all. So no meats, no dairy, no eggs are found in this video. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's get into this video. So we're gonna start with the first meal of the day. You're gonna make us some good breakfast with oatmeal and top it with some blueberries. Um, I did. I have transitioned or am in the process of transitioning back into um, intermittent fasting. So my lunch breakfast actually starts about one o'clock. So here I'm showing you the stevia that I'm using to sweeten the oatmeal with so I don't have to put sugar in it. And it's um, literally, sorry, I couldn't get the camera to focus. Literally just has those ingredients in it, purified water, stevia, and um, uh, what's vegetable glycerin? Um, you guys know the drill. Pour the water, boil the water. <laughs> Honestly, I follow the instructions on the back of the oatmeal box to help me get um, the best oatmeal possible. And here I'm going to be making two servings of the oatmeal um, so that way I can have some for another day. You know, they say a watch pot never boils. I was watching that pot for a while and it finally decided to boil. So here I'm going to add in about a cup and a half of oats into my boiling water and just stir that in until it cooks down. Usually takes about five minutes or so for the oats to actually cook um, to the consistency that I prefer. I don't know, you tell me in the comments below if you prefer more loose oatmeals or more solid oatmeals. Like I like oatmeals. <laughs> I like my oatmeal a little bit more on the solid side, so not so soupy, but like hearty type oatmeal. All right, so I'm going to um, let that continue to cook down. And while it's cooking, I'm going to squirt in maybe two squirts of the stevia uh, vanilla sweet drops. And I found those sweet drops on Amazon. The video is not sponsored by any means. So, if, hey, Amazon, if you want me to sponsor some of your videos, let me know. I'll do that. Anywho, um, so those sweet drops are in there and I add that to give it a little sweet flavor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the scale out and I'm going to measure out how much is in here so I can split it into two portions. So you'll see me do that here. So I'm just going to zero out the scale so that way the weight of the actual bowl is not included in the or the yeah in the grams. And here I'm going to be pouring this into here. Of course, it wouldn't come out the way I wanted it to. So um, I had to get a little assistance. And as you can see, the scale turned off waiting on me to get it together. So I brought my daughter in to come and help me get this stuff into the bowl. So that way I could uh, measure it out and get an equal amount for each one of the bowls that I'm going to have. Um, so again, like I said, I made enough for two servings. So what I do is once I get that total amount on the bottom, I just literally cut it in half. So it's going to be about 308 307 per container 308 307 in grams per container um, I got my bowl here so I'm going to measure out from what's on here and get it down to 307 and leave half of it for breakfast for another day and this is the half that I'm going to eat for today um, so I'm storing it over here don't know why I showed y'all that, but I wanted to let y'all know I just put it over here and stored it. I, I don't know. I like glass containers for my food when I store it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, so now I just topped it with some frozen blueberries. I did not warm them up because I knew the oatmeal was hot enough. And I just put them on top. Sprinkled with a little cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon and enjoyed it. So that is a quick and easy breakfast in the morning. Got me an apple to go along with it. 
And that's that. That's our breakfast. Um, so now on to lunch. Sometimes we have this for um, dinner. I'm trying out the shiitake noodles from Thrive Market. Again, not, not sponsored, but hey, Thrive Market, if you're interested, hey, I'd be willing to be a sponsor. <laughs> Anywho, so the shiitake noodles, literally the whole pack was 20 calories, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll let you guys know in the comments if I'm wrong. Topped it with some sweet baby ray, sweet teriyaki marinade, and some veggies. When I say this was the easiest meal ever, it was the easiest meal ever to make. It, it always is. So if you're having a long day and you don't want to come in and do all that cooking, you can definitely go for this quick meal for either lunch or dinner. So with the shiitake noodles, they tell you to, and I hope I'm saying them right, I don't know, tell you to rinse them, pour them out the pack and rinse them under some water to kind of get them cleaned out. Here I'm playing with them just to kind of make sure I get them all nice and cleaned off. I rinse them under cool water. Um, I don't know if there's a preference, it doesn't really say. Um, and then I cook my veggies in the microwave. So the veggies cooked in the microwave were the super easy way to do that. And now I'm just going to season them up. You can do your veggies plain and just have the teriyaki sauce. That's a healthier way to do it. Um, I am heavy with salt and I'm working on that. But hey. So to my veggies, to give them a little flavor, we added some salt, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little nutritional yeast, and maybe less than a tablespoon of butter. And that broccoli and cauliflower mix was actually shared with the entire family and not just my bowl. So. Um, that's less than a tablespoon of butter going in there or uh, soy butter spread and the salt is dispersed throughout all of us. So honestly, it wasn't a whole lot, but okay. It was enough to give it the flavor we need to kind of blend in with our um, noodles to make our teriyaki bowls. So I just add in all these seasonings, mix it up and enjoy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my noodles in the bowl first and then I'm going to top it with my veggies and then we're going to put probably about two to three tablespoons of the sweet teriyaki sauce on top of the veggies um, inside the bowl with the noodles and enjoy when I say it's super simple it really is super simple like we make it to where it's very easy to do so I've got my noodles and I'm gonna layer them I lost one y'all of course, I'm going to eat that. My counter's clean. Um, top it with our veggies. So I've got my shiitake noodles. I've got my broccoli and cauliflower as my veggie. And then I'm just going to put some sauce on top of here. And we're going to enjoy it. It's a hit in our house. Just telling you. I have to be careful with this sauce because I'll eat a lot of it. But here it is making it pretty for you guys. Enjoy. So my little one loves the camera, so here she is. I could not not put her on here. She's a cutie, and my husband waiting on her. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to a quick and easy dinner. Tell me, does that look like a hot dog to you guys? Well, guess what, it's not. Um, so I've stumbled across making vegan hot dogs with carrots and I follow at Tabitha Brown in her recipe. So if you have not met Tabitha Brown, don't know anything about her, um, I'll link the video that I use here in the description box for you guys to see. But I literally slight peel the carrots, cut them up into hot dog shapes, boil them in the marinade that she said to use, and then we plated it and enjoy it with or uh, and enjoyed it with some fries um and we did use some vegan cheese on our hot dogs because you know that's our business as Tabitha Brown would say and just put some ketchup mustard and relish on top of it and enjoy listen here try it tell me what you think does it taste like a hot dog it's like a hot dog it tastes too good yeah <laughs> you bit it already what you think of it? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, it tastes like a hot dog, and it's delicious. It's delicious. I wanted to see your face when you <coughs> bit it. You already did chill it up, though. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you saw some good things. Um, if it's a recipe that I've used, you're gonna see it down in the description box. Um, but otherwise, it's something that I just whip together and my family enjoys eating and it's simple as can be. 
All right. Thanks, loves. Be blessed. Much stress. Shanzi Speed.